Good morning, guys. I realize this vlog is all over the place, so I'm going to move this clip into the intro. Basically, I came back from living in Texas for three months, and I didn't know where I was going to move once I came back. Turns out I'm moving into my parents' house again where I don't have to pay rent. However, the room that used to be my room is quite a mess and I couldn't even take pictures or videos of it when it was at its peak worse. There was a Peloton bike in it and a twin size bed. This is what it looks like right now. So there's a lot of work that has to be done. The goal of the end of this vlog is to give you a room tour that I'm proud of. So we're gonna do that because it's okay to move back in with your parents when you're 23 and don't have money to pay rent elsewhere. This vlog is for all of my fellow in your 20 year olds that are living at home. We're slaying. I also get my hair done in this video. I get my nails done, which they already um, are gone. And I spend some time with my best friend in Malibu. It's a fun little vlog, so I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. Hair transformation day. Look at this brown hair. It's leaving. Why are you vlogging? And look who woke me up with an iced cappuccino. That's so nice. Last time being a golden brown brunette ever. <laughs> Okay, here's my fit. For now, I want to take photos by the rocks and if it doesn't work, then I'm changing immediately. Oh, why are you in the freezer? It's so weird. This? Coffee? So bad. This coffee is as white as snow and you don't want your coffee to be that color, correct? Erwan has a dupe McDonald's Egg McMuffin and it's literally the best thing on their breakfast menu. It's their take on McDonald's but with healthy ingredients and it's mm, so good. This can't be correct. If you don't hurry up and make that bread, I'm a door dash something. <laughs> <laughs> and while my toddlers eat their Shake Shack, I'm gonna check on my bread. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at Rose! No way! No. Like it was a live animal. <laughs> oh, that's like rock. <laughs> 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 tomato, tomato soup. <laughs> Man, it's actually so good. Ew. That's insane. Is that not crazy? I made the yeah. soup, the bread. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato soup. Wait, it's good. It's so good. My body has never had something this fresh. She wanted to talk about for dinner. I did. But mom had to go make homemade bread and a homemade soup. <laughs> the texture is a little scary. Mm-hmm. Last morning, the pookie. Hello. I am about to get my nails done. I had a really bad habit of biting my nails and I've broken that, but they're so frail all the time and always so dry. So getting my nails done. Part of the glow up series. I also just washed my hair for the first time since going to the hair salon and I got really scared that all of the blonde was gonna turn to yellow, but so far so good. The bleach really did make my hair fall out a little bit, but it's okay. We're hiding those pieces. Let's go. Ugh. I ended up having to go back because these two chipped literally right away, but here's the end result. How do you show your nails in a cute way? Like, this is not. They're stars. You drew stars around my scars. Anyway, this vlog is so all over the place because I feel like it spans too much time, but my life has been chaotic and I'm trying to get it back in order. I just filmed the intro to my book video that is already posted and I really, what's that word where you fake? I really catfished in this scenery because it looks so clean in my room. Here's what's actually going on everywhere. I'm
I'm gonna make a coffee, take a break, because I've actually been cleaning for the last hour and a half, even though you can't tell. And then I'll get back into it. This poster is too... Not the vibe of this room at my parents' house. This room feels more girly and pink. And this feels... Like, I don't know a better word than to use. This just feels too cool for this space. Oh, this could be perfect. Like, this will go up in my house one day. I'm also gonna replace this one. I'm also putting a lamp right up there. I sold a bunch of my clothes on my Instagram. I do this probably every couple months, sometimes more than that. I have so many clothes that I don't really wear that often. When I live in other places, that's okay, but at my parents' house, my closet is really small, so I just can't keep things that I don't use. So I made a big trip to the post office, probably sent like 20 packages out, and I have one more big trip to take. And then most of the clothes that were just sitting on my reading nook sale will be gone, which will make my room feel so much cleaner. This bed will be made soon. There's nothing like fresh sheets and a new book, and that's the vibe we're going for in just a couple hours. <laughs> The goal is to get 36 grams. I'm content with 32 to 40. Okay. These La La Land cups are my favorite to make coffee at home with because they feel like little sippy cups and they're reusable so you can put them in the dishwasher. Crucial step is this honey drizzle. It's a little heart. I prefer drinking this than going to coffee shops now. That's crazy. I never thought that would be true in my life. Monday morning blues. I open my eyes and I'm greeted by a cute little smile. The world is new with you by my side. Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I'm calling you. I think it's time to give you guys my room tour and I'm so happy that I get to actually confidently give you this, that the room is ready for a tour. I'm gonna open the window and see if more light will come in. The one thing that I wish was different about my room, I wish there was more light, like a window on this wall or just a sky roof, something with more light because the lighting in here based on the direction of this room with the sun is kind of mid. Very grateful nonetheless. Let's get into it. To begin, that's the rest of my house. We're not gonna go into that, but there's a step down here and then you're in my room. Upon entrance is my desk area. I put this frame up. It's really low, but I just use wherever I originally had the nails in my walls because I didn't want to add more nails. So I kind of like it. I feel like it makes this almost feel like its own little space. I'm going to be honest, I don't really sit at my desk very often. Maybe that's something I'll change, but I just like having a desk in the room. I edit, read everything from my bed. I have this jar of markers and paint brushes. And then the two books I'm beginning to read. This is where I have my little rings and a bracelet that my mom gave me. I don't really wear jewelry unless it's the two necklaces that I wear every day and my aura ring and then this little ring that it's like from a place that does permanent jewelry. 
This desk is my friend's. She gave it to me because she hated it so much because it's really old. There's something I have like a soul tie to this desk. I love this desk so much. There's something so vintage and rustic about it that I just can't part ways with it. I did change the knobs. I got these like vintage green marble ones from Etsy. I don't know if it's actually vintage, but that's what it said. Then under the desk is a fan. It is my white noise fan. It's my favorite white noise at the moment. I used to be a big rain noise girly for white noise. And now it's this. Let me show you. It's subtle, it's not too loud, but I love it. Then you move on from that corner and you've got my closet. I put a command strip hook right here for when I sell clothes because it's the best lighting you get in my room. That's my closet. It's pretty big, it's pretty small, but I don't really need much. I wear the same crew necks every day. Moving on from the closet. Up here are my books. I have a few more on top of that closet and then a few inside the closet that are either from school or I just didn't want to put them out. I don't know why. So this is my book collection. I have all my really pretty books over here. I have some books that I just wouldn't even recommend people to read, but the covers are pretty, so I leave them. And then this side, there's still fiction, but I have more theology and faith type of books my book collection and it sits on top of my reading nook. I have never had the space to use this as a reading nook because this whole closet reading nook situation was an additional add-in that my parents did after I left for college so I didn't have this in this room ever but there's a reading nook. I have my laptop just charging right there and the case for my laptop on the bottom of it and then my airpods because I typically will just leave and put all of those in a bag. I want to add a poster or something to this wall, but that'll come in time. Then down here are just a bunch of clothes. So I have t-shirts, tank tops, everything in here, shorts, biker shorts, workout clothes, socks, bras, whatever. My Brandy Melville sweatpants need their own section because I have so many. If I didn't have so many things, I'd be able to use this side as a closet as well, but it holds all my things. Not really gonna go in depth in here, but this is like all of my journals from high school, all of my memories from middle school to high school. Literally everything is in here. And then I just have random, literally just random stuff, but it is organized. I organized all of this in depth. I have all my camera stuff in the back, my like heart rate monitor, a heating pad, different books, all my medications, extra bags. It's all organized, but it's a mess. The poster I have in there, I'm obsessed with it. Then, this is my mirror. It's the Ikea mirror. Here's my favorite part of my room because I spend literally all my time on this bed. <sighs> my rug, I'll link the website down below. It was gifted to me and it's like a one of a kind rug, but they have a bunch of one of a kind handmade rugs on the website. Literally my favorite rug I've ever had. I've always been a cream rug girly, like just a white rug until this one. And now I just think it adds so much fun, unique color to a room. The two under storage things were also gifted to me by Open Spaces. Oh my gosh, if there's one brand that I would tell everyone to purchase from, it's them because these things are the best things ever. They hold so much storage. This is all my crew necks. And then this is my jeans, my night stand. I literally just keep a hair tie for when I want a hair tie around my Laneige sleeping mask and my water. My bedding is French linen. It's the best linen. The more you wash it, the cozier it gets and the softer it gets. So it's the best purchase to make. I have these Jerf Avenue pillowcases. I don't know what material those are. I sleep with one pillow from Casper and my mattress is a Casper hybrid mattress. My parents blessed me with this when I first moved out in like 2021 and it is my best favorite mattress ever in the entire world. I never want another one. It is truly when I'm not home and I'm in other cities or staying at friends houses, I long to come home to use my mattress. I'm just gonna link whatever I can link in the description box, but a lot of these things are really like two to four years old, so. Then over here, there's literally nowhere else to put my laundry hamper but here, so it's here. If I'm 
filming a part of my room i'll just move it to another part of my room <laughs> these are all my shoes i personally have never enjoyed having a shoe rack or having your shoes out on display i think this rack has kind of changed my mind about it and i also just have nowhere else to put my shoes but this is from open spaces as well and then a little painting i love up there that's my room my room is my little shoe box again i wish i took a video of what this room looked like a month ago but it was so overwhelming how many things i had to go through and having a the twin size bed in here with the peloton bike and everything else that i could not imagine whipping out my camera i just love this room so much it feels so cozy and so thankful that my parents raised me in such a great city such as los angeles that i can live at home and not be in the middle of nowhere so thankful anyway most excited to use this reading nook it's gonna be so cute in here thanks for watching my video i don't even know what this was just a little vlog room transformation hair transformation I need to get my nails done again. I love you, Pookies.